everybody, it's Mama Edie, here to tell you some more hints about your puppy or dog. Uh, today, I'm going to discuss some of the medications that dogs can take that veterinarians don't have to give you and may help your puppy. Uh, the first one is, probably everybody knows this, but I'm going to say it, if they're running a little fever or achy, you can give them a low dose aspirin. Make sure it's a low dose one. Next, for stomach relief, nausea, vomiting, you know, that kind of stuff, you can give them a Pepto tablet or one in comparison is what I do. It's a lot cheaper and it pretty much works the same. I'm trying to get that focused in for you. The next, which I think is very important if you have an older dog, is glucosamine. Trying to get that out of there. Can't find a way to get it out of there. Glucosamine. I always get it with it as MSM. It seems like it works better. And I get the 1500. You could go stronger if you think your dog's in really bad shape. Uh, I give them one tablet a day, every day, for the rest of their lives. And if you give them the off-brand, it's not too expensive. Also, um, if they have diarrhea, simple solution, you just give them pumpkin. Not pumpkin pie spy, uh, in the can, but that you have to mix to make a pumpkin pie. But the real pumpkin. 100% real pumpkin. Give them a teaspoon once and see if it loosens them up for constipation. I'm sorry I said diarrhea. I mean for constipation. Uh, if it doesn't loosen them up, you can go ahead and give them another one. But don't just give them a whole can full because uh, it will give them diarrhea. Seriously bad. Very badly. I mean, you're going to have a mess everywhere. So make sure that uh, you only give them small amounts and you can put it in their food or if they like it, you can let them lick it off your spoon. It works pretty well. Uh, you might be surprised to find out how many home medications your pet can take. But before you do any of that, call your vet and make sure it's safe or at least check the web and see if it's safe for your dog to have it. Uh, I am not a doctor person. I kind of try and make things do at home, if at all possible, unless they're really serious. Uh, in fact, right now, several of my dogs have rashes, and I think it may be a food allergy. Oh, and they can take Benadryl. <laughs> that was my next subject, right into that. They have, I think they have food allergies, and I've been giving them Benadryl, but it's not affecting it. And so I start thinking, maybe it's a food allergy. Somebody said it could be a grass allergy, but I'm thinking maybe a, more of a food allergy. So I'm going to try a different food than what I've been giving them and see if that helps. If it doesn't, then we'll try and figure out a way to get them not on the grass in their backyard. Uh, that's it for now. Like I said, uh, be sure to call your vet before you give them any kind of medicine to make sure it's safe for them. I have checked in and I know glucosamine is good for them. In fact, glucosamine was actually made to help the animals. And they found that it works so well that they made it for humans instead. So there's a little tidbit you probably didn't know. And um, the low dose aspirin, again, you need, it depends on the size of your dog. Uh, you may only want to give them a half one. Same with the Benadryl. You, you, you know, you know, you've got to go in size. Don't just do it because I said to do it. You know, see? So you might want to check on the web. I don't know if you can find any information on how much to give a dog uh, at your dog's weight or anything, but you can check. And if not, like I said, the vets are there to help you. Uh, ask them and you know, 
you a good answer and call another one. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe. And that is a personal joke with me and my son. And I love my fur babies. Bye-bye.